As one of the largest tanks produced after World War II, the T-54-55 series tanks have been distributed worldwide with tens of thousands of units produced. Many of them are still in use today, although most have undergone various modernization upgrades and look completely different. As the birthplace of the five pairs of road wheels, Russia has also upgraded and modified tanks, and the BTRT heavy infantry fighting vehicle is one of them. The direct reason for Russia's modification of the T-55 was the combat operations in the 1990s, especially the heavy casualties suffered by the Russian army in the battles in Grozny, which made them realize the importance of heavy infantry fighting vehicles in urban combat. Of course, Russia was not the first to convert the T-54-55 into a heavy armored vehicle, but as the birthplace of tanks, this modification can be considered more official than in other countries. Similarly, as the birthplace of the five pairs of road wheels, Russia also preserved a large number of T-55 tanks in the 1990s, which provided convenience for the modification of heavy infantry fighting vehicles. The modification of the BTRT was not started from scratch. Similar modifications had been made in some countries and had performed well in actual combat. Even without technical exchanges, it indirectly confirmed the feasibility and practicality of this modification. The BTRT removed the turret of the T-55 tank and replaced it with a small-sized remote-controlled turret slightly offset to the right. This turret can be equipped with grenade launchers, machine guns, 30mm cannons, or anti-tank missiles, and it also has a basket that allows the operator to sit inside and operate the weapons. The armored vehicle can also be equipped with different numbers of smoke launchers depending on the situation. The tank chassis has undergone major modifications to provide sufficient space for personnel and protection. The deck on the chassis has been reinstalled, sealing the large hole left by the original turret installation position and adopting a small-sized hatch for soldiers to enter and exit. However, the increase in internal space is not significant. The BTRT uses a crew of two, namely the driver and the vehicle commander, also the gunner, and can accommodate an additional five soldiers. The soldiers can observe the outside through periscopes. The BTRT focuses on strengthening its armor protection. The frontal protection is enhanced by installing Contact 5 Explosive Reactive Armor, which is said to provide equivalent protection to 600 military homogeneous steel armor. Additional spaced armor and rubber plates are added to the sides of the vehicle to better withstand armor-piercing rounds, and the space in the gaps can store more fuel, increasing the range of the infantry fighting vehicle. The bottom armor is also reinforced to resist or reduce damage from landmines. As a modified weapon, the BTRT unexpectedly has an air conditioning system, providing a more comfortable combat environment for soldiers. The infantry fighting vehicle also has a three defense system. The power of the chassis remains unchanged. The modified BTRT infantry fighting vehicle weighs 38.5 tons, is 6.45 meters long, 3.27 meters wide, and 2.4 meters high. It has a maximum highway speed of 50 kilometers per hour and a maximum off-road speed of 25 kilometers per hour. The BTRT made its appearance in the late 1990s, but due to economic issues, this heavy infantry fighting vehicle was not immediately put into service. However, based on the known data, its combat performance should not be poor, especially in urban combat where it has both protection and considerable firepower. The only problem is its poor carrying capacity, which is only half of other armored personnel carriers.